In this video, cataract surgery is performed by phaco chop technique, using the Centurion Vision System. This is one of the most advanced and modern phaco emulsification machines, based on a peristaltic pump system and offering an extensive level of customization for improved ultrasound energy and fluidics control. Such high level of technological features make this machine suitable for every cataract from soft cortical to very dense brunescent cataracts. By combining the Centurion with the proprietary Revalue operating microscope, it is possible to record the machine parameters in real time during the various surgical steps, as will be shown in this video. One of the main differences in this machine is that it operates around the concept of setting an intended intraocular pressure, then the BSS flow rate and aspiration are controlled in order to maintain the desired IOP level constant. This minimizes anterior chamber instability, allowing a safe and controlled phaco emulsification. This is a grade 2 corticonuclear cataract, after capsulorexis rexus and gentle hydro dissection. The chopper can be used to cleave the corticoepinuclear layers, in a rotational maneuver made popular by Dr. Rosatelli. This leads to a very clean capsular bag, but should be avoided if zonular weakness is observed. We begin with the first central chop. Notice that the IOP is set to 50 mm of mercury, which makes the procedure more comfortable for the patient, but the anterior chamber is feeling somewhat soft so the chop was a bit superficial. Just rotate the nucleus and repeat the maneuver. For this step I prefer the chamber to feel more solid and stable, so the IOP was raised to 70 which facilitates precise chopping. The nucleus has now been segmented into four quadrants. Now emulsification will be easy and controlled. The program is switched to quadrant mode, which uses only torsional ultrasound energy in a pulsed mode with 60% duty cycle. As for fluidics, vacuum is set to linear control but in a tight range between 300 and 450 mm of mercury. Aspiration is set to fixed 33 cc per minute and IOP is again lowered to 50. Notice how the cumulative dissipated energy, an indicator of overall ultrasound energy used, raises only slightly with each successive quadrant being emulsified indicating that the energy delivered is highly optimized. Now on to the epinucleus removal step. Notice that a working IOP of 50 mm of mercury is now perfectly stable, as vacuum pressure and aspiration flow rate are switched to full linear control. The chamber stability is further improved by using the active sentry FACO handpiece, which continuously monitors the IOP. Adjusting to compensate for fluid leakage, vacuum surge and other fake dynamic variables. Finally for the cortical removal phase, using the coaxial irrigation aspiration piece, vacuum pressure and aspiration flow rate are increased, and the working IOP is also slightly increased. The cortical material is fully aspirated, and you can see a very nicely clean capsular back. It is now ready to implant the intraocular lens. The OVD is now removed from over and under the IOL as the case is now completed. Notice that the improved FACO energy modulation and fluidic dynamics allow the safe removal of this grade 2 cataract with a very low level of cumulative energy used. 